Hey guys, it is fall and we are ready for some nice warm soup, but we're going to do something a little bit healthier. We're going to do Martha Stewart's apple butternut squash soup. A lot of veggies and a lot of spices that's going to warm you up. All right, so you get one nice, your favorite soup pot. And we're just going to start off with a little splat of butter and saute some onions. It is a great start to any soup. And we're gonna let that cook for about three to four minutes until it's softened and a little translucent. I love fall soups, but this one I'm very interested in because it's got, I almost feel like more apples or equal apples to butternut squash and I don't know how I feel about that. I It says four apples, two red, two golden, or any mix of or all red, whatever you like. And I didn't think it was that much, but after I chopped it, it actually <laughs> is quite a, a lot of apples. It'll I think we it. should trust. We should trust Martha, right? This is Martha Stewart. She, she went the queen. Us wrong. That's right. The queen of cooking. The queen of home. Um, I think we're ready to add in the star of the show, which is the butternut squash, not the apple. This beautiful orange thing. Right, so we are going to saute this for 10 minutes until it's a little bit more softened. So Gina and I are gonna catch up and talk about all of our favorite shows as we wait for this to cook. <laughs> now I'm gonna add in the apples, all four of them, because I'm following the recipe. Cat. <laughs> yeah? Yes? Yours looked a little bit small in quantity. <laughs> I didn't do four because it just seemed like too much, so I did three. And plus, my right crisps were really big. I knew it. So, to this apple, we're going to add in some of our spices, right? And then we're going to add in our chicken stock and some water. And I said low sodium chicken stock. Whenever a recipe says that, Kat, I just use regular and I've never noticed it being salty. So we're gonna let this come up to a boil and then we're gonna let it simmer for 30 minutes and then we'll meet you guys back. Okay, so guys, the next that we're going to do is we're gonna puree our soup. We want it to be pretty smooth because it's almost like baby food for adults. So I thought that I would do a classic no fuss butternut squash soup and then do a taste test of Martha's because she has the apple and a lot of spices. Okay, so I just bought like a box, right? I wasn't going to make it from scratch, but this is a creamy butternut squash soup. So I'm going to try it first before I try Martha's just so that I have like a really great comparison in terms of, you know, does apple make it better? I don't know. Okay, let's try. I will say it is like very kind of liquidy. We're all watching you. <laughs> okay. Good. It's actually good, but it's so smooth. I almost feel like I'm eating gravy. Okay. So, okay. So now we'll do Martha's chunky version. Yours is chunky? Well, it's thick, well, but is it thick. chunky? Okay. I left a couple chunkiness because I like a little texture. Okay, let's go. Not salty enough for you, huh? Try number two. <laughs> so the box soup tastes pretty good, but Martha's is good. It's hearty, but I will say, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of the apple. I, I could taste it and it wasn't as sweet as I thought it was going to be. There was too much cayenne pepper. Am I wrong? I actually like the heat and it makes sense mm. why I might garnish with the jalapeno. Um, it does yeah. have depth. I don't know if it's better or worse with the apple. Um, it's warm and I think with the heat of the spices of the cumin and the cayenne, I think it makes it like yummy in the tummy. It's good. 
I don't think I'll make it again. I don't know if I love no. it enough that I feel like, oh, my friends have to have it or have to try it. But it was mm -hmm. good. So is that weird? I know that's confusing. No. The apples actually don't make it sweet. It doesn't give it any thing that I thought doesn't it tastes like apples. Yes. yes. So Martha knew. Martha knew. All right. Well, thanks for joining. And I hope that you'll tune in for our next video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Champagne